gonna warm up the arms first. So as far as you can take the arms up and over your body, front and back. Simply to get the shoulders nice open, and warmed up. We are gonna do three rounds, three circuits, and these are my go-to circuits that I do at home. Let's do a little side bend here. Don't lean into it, just stay upright, and then let your bottom arm fall. Your bottom arm stretch that. Left side. First circuit Skipping. Take your time with the first circuit to warm up. I'm going to give you tips and techniques and moves along that way. And then after that five minutes, we're going to go into a round of abdominals where you have the option to use your weight. I use 10 pound dumbbells. If you got a kettlebell or a small one, that's fine too. You don't have to use weight. Then after the round of abdominals, we're going to go back to a round of five minutes. Jump, you're targeting abs, so it's great. And the skipping, 
you're getting total form in your arms. <laughs> and your arms get sore. And if your arms get sore, just stop and swing the rope so that your heart rate is still going, so you're able to slow down and keep moving, okay? And so once you take a little bit of a break, you feel good, you go back in, you start slow, box yourself a little. Traditional, straight up skipping. I'm not really a fan of the straight up and down like this, so I would switch it up. This is my go-to move right here. Ready, good job, on the spot. This is one that I always do. Woo, okay, so we got 50 seconds. You want to give her here, so 50 seconds, go. I'm choosing high knees. You do whatever you want. You can box yourself full, you can toe tap, and butt kicks, you can give her. For these last few seconds. Because we're going into abs after this. And to get definition in the abs, you got to be in that fat burning zone. You got to shed the fat. We all have abs, but it's underneath the layer. Hold the hold, 
Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Next one, it's one of my favorites. Again, if you want to target, you want to get the definition in the side of the abdomen, again, twisting moves. So this move is the starfish. So you open up, and we're gonna do 20 on each side, then we're going back into skipping, okay? So you go one, two, three, Halfway there. Doing awesome. Five second breath, right? Just to breathe, just to relax your neck muscles. Five seconds goes by fast. 20, next leg. One, two, then we're going back up to skipping. Three, you can't do 20, just do as many as you can. Four, remember breath, form, contraction. And a positive attitude, <laughs> motivation. Let's conquer this. Halfway there. This is one of my favorite ab Workouts right here. Last one. Boom. Okay. Just take a moment. Take like 30 seconds. Okay. I like to just stretch my abs out. So I'm just coming into a little bit of a cobra here. Stretch out the front wall. Maybe you want to stretch out your back. Maybe stretch out your legs. I just usually take my 30 seconds and stretch a little bit. Grab a sip of water, not too much, so you want to cramp. Maybe mop off. All right, we're going in for another round. All right. Move everything out of the way so you're ready. And go. Five minutes of skipping. So now you should be pretty fired up. And especially because you just did ab work, they should feel real tight. So that will remind you to contract your abdominals. Okay? Let's make this round a little more fun. So for 30 seconds, let's go for butt kicks. So we're gonna change up the moves a little bit of time. So let's go like this. 30 seconds butt kicks. Fast or slow as you need. You keep going. I'm just gonna monitor my timer for two seconds. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Ten seconds for butt kicks. Okay. Let's go for toe taps. Okay. I'll show you from the side. Toe taps. Fires up. Contracts. Whoopsies. Those lower abs. Okay? 30 seconds of these. Almost there. Halfway. Smile! You're sweating. Okay. Boxer shuffle. Just to calm it down. 30 seconds. Fast or as slow as you want. Dance a little bit, move your body around, play around with it. Whoopsie! That's when I say, oh sugar! Okay, high knees. 30 seconds of these. Twist. Okay, when you're ready, 
We are working. Whoopsies. Sir, seven seconds. Skipping, twisting. Five minutes. Pretty much flies by. Okay. Now we're gonna throw in a little punch. Try this. Swing your rope. Swing, skip, swing, skip, swing, skip. 30 seconds. Swing, skip, swing, skip. Have fun. Switch sides, maybe. So swing. Focus slightly out. 
Five more. Lift, hold, isolate, lift, lift, lift. Get that package real tight there. And release. When you release, just come into a little bit of a mermaid stretch. Lift it up, stretch it out. Okay, now we gotta do the other side. So, going into the right side here. L shape with the arm, support, stack. Lift, head behind, or hand behind the head, and stay lifted. Left leg up and swing, 20.
the timer, you don't have any worry. And you play around. Play around with the moves. Like play around with crossing the arms, right? Play around with swing, swing, jump. Swing, swing, jump.
Grab a weight if you want more resistance, okay? Start with your weaker leg. We're gonna go for 15 reps. Side lunges, side lunges target inner thigh, and they also target the quad, the outer thigh, and hamstring, the gluteus maximus. You wanna do moves that target the gluteus maximus because the minimus and the medius are the smaller muscles. The muscle that actually lifts the booty and shapes the thigh is the gluteus maximus. So you always wanna target that baby. Get a nice wide enough stance. When you go, you push your hips back and drive into the heel. So you see the left heel, keep your chest upright. 15. So we'll go for one. And we breathe. Form and contraction. Don't go super fast. You want to target. Tighten up your abs. Five more. Ooh, these feel great. And last one, hold, and come up. Switch. Block or no block, doesn't matter. Again, if you have a weight, it's good enough as a resistance. Set it up, 15. Ready, go. Drive into the heel, sit behind the knee, bum back, chest up, abs engaged. Smile, be happy, because you're doing it. Okay, the next one 
is round three of the legs. I'm gonna move this stuff. What you wanna have is a chair or table. Candy. So I'm gonna bring my coffee table over here. There you go. So I have a chair or a table. Again, I'm gonna grab one weight. Okay, let's start with my weak leg. So you put your, you wanna have a nice elevated lift. So if you got that, great. If it's a little lower, it's fine. As long as you're lifting into something to get that full contraction. Okay, so this will target the whole thigh plus the booty. Okay, so we're gonna go for 15 reps. Weight or no weight. If you don't have a weight, again, weightless with the arms. Don't let the arms help you. So you just go up and down. You're not kicking off, okay? You're using your leg that's on the table to drive down into the heel and up. Contract, tailbone is down, abs are in. Let's go for 15. You got this, so tap. Throw your hips forward when you get there. So hips forward. Forward. These kill me, but I gotta get with me, so. I'm good to go. That's five. <laughs> That's ten. Home run. No tricks at the end in this one, I promise. Just straight up and down. Three more. This is my weaker leg. One more. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Right side. Stronger leg. Bring me home leg. 15. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Hips forward. Chest up. Engage your abdomen. Go forward and breathe. I 
the heel, knees in a line, hips back, engage the core, chest up, focus. Hang in there. Take these exercises and own them, do them, please. Hips forward when you come up. <laughs> Five more. with an oblique crunch. 15, one. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh. 
Five seconds. Okay, okay five seconds. Right leg. Drive it in heel. Hips come up, move forward. Chest upright, look forward. Own it, 15, let's go. Last round. Breathe, contraction, form are the elements. Last five. That's ten. Last one coming to you. Fifteen. I just want to chuck this, but that won't go very well. <laughs> okay. So you feel the burn. I'm gonna take you through two stretches. So release the back, move your props, roll out your mat, grab a sip of water, and you are out of here. Just gonna release the legs, release the lower back, okay? So the first move is the cat tail. So you come lie down, you rest, Shift your hips over to the right, bend the right knee. Maybe you can kick it into your hand. If you can, great. If you can't, great too. Maybe you just keep the leg lengthened. Maybe you can bend the knee. Maybe you can go for the full cattail and grab that foot and drag the knee down. You're gonna get your IT bands here, which is the side of the outer thigh. You're gonna get your shoulders. You're gonna get your lower back. So just breathe here, a couple breaths. And I know you're probably like, oh, I'm done, but you gotta stretch it out. You gotta stretch it out. Even if you just wanna whip out downward dog in child's pose, it's fine. Whatever, whatever you want. I'm just gonna give you two right here, right now. Release the top leg gently, and release the bottom leg. Swing it to the center, anchor your tailbone, and move it over to the other side. So shift your hips, left leg comes out, maybe you can grab the foot, right leg bends, maybe you can grab the top of the foot, stretch it out. IT bands, shoulders, lower back, it's great. Few breaths to unwind, let the blood keep flowing through the muscles that you just contracted. Okay, because the blood gets stuck in the muscles that you just pumped up, so you want to let it flow, and that will also encourage and increase the resting time, the recovery time, and then you'll get that leaner, that leaner, lighter feeling and that look, right? So you don't want to keep the blood all bundled up in the muscles. Ooh, this feels good on the back of my gluteal fold and through my hamstrings. It feels great and release gently. Nice and easy here. Okay, last stretch I'm gonna give you is just knees to the chest, moving into a happy baby, okay? So you can get into the hips. So again, we're getting into the lower back. This is great. This is the way into happy baby. Kick the legs up. Maybe you can grab your shins, flex the feet, draw down. The goal, you want your shoulders on the ground, okay? So wherever you're at, you can grab your big toes and draw down, you want the shoulder blades on the ground, okay? Maybe you want to stretch a leg out just to get into the inner thighs, that we did busted out that inner thigh workout. And again, you want to work out for at least 30 minutes, cardio and toning, okay? We worked out longer, but that's what I normally do anyways. If you're pressed for time, like I said, maybe you could just do two circuits to get the legs in there. Okay? Or go to bed earlier. Wake up earlier, right? So that is 48 minutes. Not bad, not even an hour. Not even a glitch in your day. So thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Rest up, drink water, and eat healthy.